Good morning, traders. Welcome to today's market review. This is Fred Razak at CM Trading. Today is April 2nd, 2021, and today is Friday morning. So looking at the highlights of the day, we're watching the US dollar slightly weaker versus the major pairs as we go into today's NFP number. And that leads us to the major economic events of the day at 3.30 South African time. Out of the United States, we have non-farm payroll for the month of March. And it should be kind of interesting to see how that's playing out. Now, looking at the various markets, the dollar retraces versus the major pairs before the number. And as we look at the indices, the NASDAQ breaking higher, the Dow Jones on its highs as well. And we're taking a little bit of a rotation there. Again, we're going to look at the individual stocks. Now, looking at commodities, gold and oil continue to gain. But the question is, is how much further? Looking at the stock, Microsoft and Facebook were the biggest gainers. And lastly, looking at Bitcoin inching higher, are we going to break out? So let's take a look at the markets and see what we can expect from today's trading. It's so going to first take a look at the Euro USD at a four hour chart. And you could see that we hit the 1715 ish level at the bottom part and then bouncing off of it. So it's a decent bounce at about 60 to 70 pip bounce if you wanted to intraday trade it. But looking at the daily, it's giving us a little bit more direction here as previous support is subsequent resistance. So we're about 40 pips away from that. And we're still a good arms throw away from our 30 day moving average. So, you know, we're still relatively weak compared to the dollar. Now, looking at the Aussie USD also getting a little bit of a bounce, but not much. OK, if we look at a daily, let's look at a four hour chart. You could see that, but it's really very weak. OK, all intents and purposes, you know, looking at the GBP. Also, we got that bounce a little bit stronger versus the other pairs versus the USD, the GBP a little bit stronger here as it got a further bounce. But remember, it's going to continue being choppy trading. OK, and as we're hitting this major NFP number today, it'd be kind of interesting to see if we're going to retrace here. Now, looking at gold bouncing and continuing to bounce to 1729 as we're seeing a further incline on it as the extended rally on it okay about 15 to 20 points higher now this is really on the back of the fact that there's going to be some inflationary concerns with the new stimulus package as mentioned yesterday now looking at oil look at this kind of wow okay tremendous amount of volatility here for such a short period of time we rallied yesterday from 58.90 up to 61 and a half dollars really on yesterday's opec meetings okay so that is taking into account now we are at the top of the range here so i'm going to this be a fade opportunity for this to be a a short covering a short squeeze at the top of this range if we look at a four hour chart you can see we've been sideways trading for quite some time so if we don't get follow through i do expect a correction there now looking at the nasdaq this one was the stronger one of the two as this extended its gains above that 13,300 ish level this is really an important area that we're at right now now we're still off if we look at a daily chart we're still off of our all-time highs close to 14,000. OK, so we do have significant amount of place or real estate to make up here. Looking at the Dow, though, it's on its net highs. OK, 33,076, as you could see here, a nice little pivot move this past month. I mean, from the beginning of of March until the end of March, we went about 1700 points. OK, so it was a tremendous, tremendous rally there as it hit that 32,000 ish area and then rallying all the way higher. OK, so something to consider here as it is hitting a major resistance level, if it's going to break through, it's going to break through with some umph and with some volatility. OK, so something to consider. OK, what I like about it and why I'm a little biased that it's going higher is that we made that higher low. OK, right there at 33,000, we retraced, didn't go further down. And now we're really pushing higher. So if the NFP numbers come out positive, we may see a very big move to the upside okay now looking at the individual stocks what i like about this is that the major stocks are following through apple gained yesterday did give back some real estate but did gain the major players of microsoft on its all-time highs okay or close to its all-time highs here at 241 as it's picking up the pace and picking up some of the real estate that it give back and the other one, Facebook, if we look at it daily, it's on that top of that range as well. So a couple of really exciting stocks as they're looking to break out and possibly break out later today if the NFP number comes out very positive. Now, lastly, looking at Bitcoin, inching higher on that 59,300-ish level, okay, making that 
you know, consolidation in this area, I'd like to see it pass through. And I think if we get a positive number, you know, that'll just add to the fuel and add to the optimism in the markets and we may get that rally. OK, so it is at that 59,000. 59, very important number, 60,000, obviously very, very important number, a round number. Okay, so that's something the market really considers. And if we look at the RSI, you still have some room on the upside to be really considered overbought. So, you know, ultimately, you got to have some follow through on it, got to have some volume to back it up, but potentially it could be a major play later today. This is Fred Razak. I want to wish you guys a great trading day and a beautiful weekend. Thank you.